this is how I feel about that. Everything was pushed, pushed to another level. You know, uh, I just feel like R. Kelly like the young bitch. Everyone out there who subscribes to Boosie's ideology, I hope by listening to that little bit of tape, because Vlad TV is very tight on the YouTube, you ain't gonna. I hope by listening <laughs> to that little bit of tape, you understand the every. I'm sorry, like even though he was just talking about Kelly, everything else that he has said about anything is now tainted. Okay, because anyone who can think like that, whatever other thoughts you may have, clearly it's coming from a warped place. That's just how I'm looking at it. Right. How do you try to justify he just likes young bitches? He just likes young bitches. Mm -hmm. I will give him one one up. When he said his one fault was dealing with underage women, Truly, that was his one fault. Because at the end of the day, you can't kidnap someone if you leave the home and they're there by themselves. They can leave whenever they want to. You can warp their mind. You can right. brainwash them and everything else. You can do all these things, right? But, I mean, if they're there when you come back, apart from them being handcuffed and whatever, all the other things we heard, this is a choice that they're making. So I will give Boosie that one up. His his flaw was the underage women. But again, going back full circle, Boosie was like, what's the problem? He just like underage bitches. Right. I mean, if, if Boosie can't see, okay, so I'll, I'll keep it very simple. Listen, there's nothing wrong. You want to date somebody who's younger than you and that person that's younger than you is comfortable dating you. That's absolutely fine. The problem with R. Kelly is that these women were underage. Like, what, what the fuck? What are we talking about right now? Like, it's very obvious what the problem was with his situation. All of these girls were minors, and he was a grown, grown man. Not like he was 22, 23. No, the man was in his 30s, in his 40s, dating girls who are under the age of 18. That is the problem, and it's a legal thing. And it makes perfect sense as to why it's legal. I don't think anybody needs to explain it. Maybe somebody needs to explain it to Robert Kelly. Who knows? I don't. I do. <laughs> but it's something that's as simple as that, man. That's what the problem is. Because I was on, I was watching YouTube the other day, and they were showing a video about um, Leonardo DiCaprio. And saying, showing, that somebody took a lot of time and decided they wanted to make a graph charting the age of the women that he's dated as he's gotten older as well. And they came to find that the oldest girl that he's ever dated in his life was 25 years old. But the thing about Leo is that the youngest girl that he dated, besides the time when he was 21, 22, 23, was 20 years old. They're of age. That's why you never hear nothing about Leo or any of these other guys who do it. It's not that it's uncommon for older men to date younger women. Look at Diddy. Wasn't he dating Lori Harvey? Is the only saying. problem is these girls that, that Mr. Kelly decides to go after are 14, 15, 16, and Listen, he's grown. They still have homework. Okay. Gray hairs on his pubic area. Um, Vlad made an excellent point. Excellent point. Again, I, I wish I could play the whole video for you, but can't. But the point that he made was Kelly escaped a huge pedophile case by paying off witnesses. And you know what I mean? Because if that girl who he peed on showed up to testify, it would have been a wrap for him. And this was right. years and years and years ago. So Vlad's point was he escaped just like that. He just escaped and then went on to have a string of hits, became bigger than he ever was. And in between escaping a huge pedophile charge and becoming bigger than he ever was, that's when all this other stuff happened. So I say that to say this, or rather he says that to say this. He had his chance. He actually robbed the bank and got away with it, but he went back for more. Right. So in other words, he has a legitimate problem. Like it's it was, a it's a true illness. Yeah. It's At this true, point, it's yeah. it's clearly it's clearly a problem that he does have that that's that's very true but it doesn't excuse somebody from from first of all recognizing that yeah but dude all he has to do is just 
he could just he could he 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 could he could scout girls. Oh, you seventeen? When your birthday? That's your birthday. You legal now? It's sick. It's nasty. But the legal problem is no longer there. He couldn't even do that. He couldn't. Even, they literally had to be underage. And then it's not just it's not just that. Okay, listen. There's some there's some sick and and twisted people in the world when it comes to a lot of things sexually. But some of the stories that I heard of things that he did to these to these young girls as well, and in in his perverted mind is is something sexual, are just a little bit off, man. Like it's just it's really 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 off, and to just try to overlook that by Boosie just simplifying it and saying he was just into young girls. I think it's a little bit more than that, especially after the trial and all the stuff that you heard that came out from these girls and their testimony. Like you can't just say he just likes young girls at that point. At that point, you have to say, this is a man with a real true illness, a real true sickness. And he is doing some other twisted shit. And it's because he was able to get away with it for so long. Obviously, you know what I mean? If I the first time I go into a convenience store as a little kid and I want some candy and I don't want to pay for it, that first time I'm stealing it, I get super nervous. But the more I go to that store and the more I steal it and the more I get away with it, the more comfortable I get with it. The more lax I get with it, the more I'm going to try to do more now because I want that rush back. And that's what R. Kelly's doing. Only his candy is young girls. Listen, man, I put R. Kelly up there with Epstein straight up. And the simple fact that anybody tries to rationalize the R. Kelly situation, I'm, like I said, man, it, it literally taints anything else that comes out of your mouth. You could you could be, Boosie could be saying, hey, if you open that door, you're going to get a million dollars. If you open that door, you're going to die. I'm going to open the door that says I'm going to die because I'm not going to trust what Boosie has to say. Like, I'm sorry, you, you cannot rationalize R. Kelly's thought process, his fetishes, or whatever it is that you want to say. This was just wrong a hundred different ways. And you were alluding to some other things there, which if you followed the R. Kelly trial, you know it was just more than him being sexually attracted to underage girls. There was a bunch of other twisted stuff going on there too. So, Boosie, clearly you ain't do your homework. Or maybe you did, but you are just that stupid. And the uh, thing is, like, I agree with uh, some of the, like, Boosie, uh, there's been tons of videos where Boosie has said stuff, and you've disagreed. I've been like, I get what he's trying to say, but it's just, like, how he's saying it. This is one of those cases where it's not it's not how he said it. It doesn't matter which way he said it. It's just, this is just, I can't agree with this one, with Boosie. I'm sorry, Boos. Yeah, he, down, man. yeah, he's an idiot. I found myself asking myself, uh, you know, but you got to get more friends, man. You got to get more friends. No, but you, you know, like sometimes you might be like, I wonder if I could chill with that person. Like you might see a celebrity be like, oh, I wonder if I could chill with that celebrity. Right, right, right. And Would I'm I be like, friends with them. Yeah. And I see Boosie as like just a real, like a real nigga. You know what I mean? And I feel at some points I'm like, oh, you might be cool to chill with. But then I'll be thinking to myself, we might be having a couple of drinks, maybe smoking a bit. And then, you know, people get philosophical once they start getting a little. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's what me and him might fight. You know what I mean? So I don't think that's a person that I would even want to be around. But you difference put, of opinion. Well, it, could, it might get heated. Some people you can't even talk politics with. Some he people seems the type of person that could that won't want to fight you based on a conversation. But I don't know him, so he's had but, some pretty reckless conversations and seemed pretty calm. All right. Well, viewing public, what are your thoughts here? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do you think R. Kelly just liked underage girls? And hey, what's the big deal? If that is you, unsubscribe today. Deuces.